Okay, people underestimate me and they think I'm stupid. They think I'm ignorant, crazy, ugly, pesty, nasty. I just took a shower, so look what I have. This is what they're looking for. A bunch of people is looking for seeds. It's bitter melon seeds. They might be dark, but it's ready to plant. So I collect the seeds back again. Today I overheard somebody's conversation and they're like, I'm looking for the seeds, but you know, he grew, they grew um, the bitter melon and it's, it's not healthy, it's dying. It wasn't successful, but since he has gave me some of his bitter melon seeds, but I don't know what happened to it, but these are hard enough. So I have sun dried it. Well, I'm going to sun dry it tomorrow and preserve it and, you know, maybe split it, share it with them. Hopefully it'll feed him. He put effort to give me some of his seeds, but now I give him some of my seeds once I have time. I see him again but never never underestimate how a person look like they might look ugly not attractive fat skinny but their abilities their talent their skills their training their education there's some mountains that are high but there's millions of other mountains that is higher there's people that's rich but there's millions of people more richer so i might not be rich in collateral but i'm rich in seeds if you calculate how many seeds i have if everybody's garden or farm the food is destroyed and they can't find seeds Every time they grow the seeds, plant it, it didn't grow successfully. But look at this. I found the seeds. See? Even though it's not supposed to be this dark right here. But it will still will grow. It's hard enough. See? It's not even breaking. That means it's old enough to plant. So, yes! <laughs> this is like hitting the jackpot. So... I don't have to work as hard to feed myself, but I can plant it and then share it and that's all I can do. I can feed the village in that way, but I don't have no money, no more cash, and I'm poor broke, but I don't have land, I don't have a car, I don't have a real home that's mine, so I'm just temporarily staying here with people. But just to help them out but they mistreat me disrespect me cruel to me abusive aggressive mean dishonest about me lied about me why should i have to help out anybody for i'm not being selfish but i'm just protecting my myself and the safety of myself so you be mean to me and cruel to me you will never get your hands on these seeds so I never knew how to eat bitter melon since I was a little girl. It tastes so bitter, and I didn't, um, I didn't like it because it's so bitter. But when you go poor, broke, and homeless, and and starving, everything and anything is good, and you learn how to value these seeds or the vegetable or fruits itself. So. Don't complain about the food. Ooh, it's yucky, it's nasty. I don't know how to eat it. But when every food, everybody pass away, nobody grows the food, raise the animal, breed the animal, take care of the animal, vaccinate the animal, or even plant the seeds into the soil or into the ground. Nobody's working. They're disabled. They're mentally ill, crazy nuts, and... You know on deathbed then nobody's gonna do anything for you nobody's gonna help you no one's gonna take care of you if 
people very cruel, mean, prejudiced, racist, evil. And when they die, they can't take nothing with them to the grave. So I got me some seeds. It will last me. It just depends. It might save my butt from starving for two, three, two months. You know, something to eat in two months is better than nothing to eat at all. But the health benefits from what I've learned, I've tested my body with these, is eating bitter melon. It helps you with your sugar level. So it brings your sugar level down. And it also helps you when you have a bowel movement. So if you need to use the restroom and you have a hard time using the restroom and you feel constipated, it just comes out easily. So you don't have to take medication or medicine, but this is like a medicine soup. And you can eat the leaves or you can use cook it as a soup, the leaves as a soup. The better it is, the more uh, better it is for your health for diabetic people so people have arthritis or um, handicapped disabled they can't take care of themselves so um, you know I'm still healthy I can still take care of myself I don't have a mental illness don't mistreat me don't disrespect me you don't know me like that so I'm Dina Cheapskate, but that's how I, I'm living right now, but I'm trying to budget. I'm budgeting because I'm not making enough money to survive, to pay rent, to eat, you know, comfortably. I don't even get food stamps, so, you know, I don't even have a place to grow it, but, you know, I'll give my seeds away and take care of people who took care of me. So we all take care of each other back and forth. We, ha we all have something for an exchange. I'll exchange my seeds for your whatever. You see, like, mm, what do you have the good that I want? Hmm. Maybe you have sugar apple or you have other fruits that I want to eat. I'll exchange it with you, you know. But I'm going to donate some of these seeds to uh, somebody that I know. So they treat me good. They took care of me. So time to feed them. So everybody's retired. They don't want to, um, they have nothing to do. And it's COVID time. So they get bored. So it gives them something to do. Plant, plant, continue planting and Feed you, feed your grandchildren, everybody feed each other, take care of each other. So, I'm not an evil or bad person, so. Let's see, tomorrow I have this. This is bitter melon. I'll stir fry it with eggs, and it'll be good to stir fry it with um, Chinese sausage, but I forgot to buy it. So, I love to eat Vietnamese food. I love to eat egg roll, fried egg roll, spring roll, sushi. But as long as it's not too much cooking, you know, it'll be so hot in the house. But I try not to use too much electricity and not to use electricity at all. But, you know, I'm struggling like everybody else. So I don't have a car. I'm not privileged or blessed like everyone else being born in a rich family or wealthy family or being spoiled like them but I spoil myself my way it's either my way or the highway so look at who's begging now who's gonna beg <laughs> I'm not the beggar I place an ad out on Houston Press saying oh pretty please pretty please with a cherry on the treetop <laughs> in a joking way but I'm placing it out for that person that name that face that's begging me they thought that I'm begging them nope you're the one begging me for a cigarette 
You're the one begging me for food. You're the one that's begging me for seeds. You're the one begging me for money. You're the one begging me for pussy. <laughs> You're the one begging me for ass. You're the one begging me for to teach you English. You're the one begging me to play with you. I'm not bothering you. I'm not bugging you. I'm just wanna I just wanna get some sleep. And I just wanna go around collecting seeds so that because everybody's passing away left and right, nobody's feeling well, nobody can take care of themselves, nobody's collecting the seeds. Don't let the seeds go bad. That's good food go into waste. So you know, I'm full of surprises. Don't take me for granted. Don't take advantage of me. Don't take me for my weakness and my kindness. And don't take advantage of me. I'm not that type of girl. Don't fuck with me. Excuse my language. I don't like to use profanity my entire life. I'm like a mime. I don't talk. But I want you to get to know me before you start misjudging me, misrepresenting me, disrespecting me, insulting me, harassing me, and slandering me and criticizing me and being a hypocrite. So stop lying about me, stop being dishonest about me, stop harassing me and stop irritating me and stop being annoying and stop being rude and disorderly conduct to me. Just remember, you thought you're smarter than me, but I went to the top 13 high school in the United States. I did graduate and I have more than enough credits to graduate and I didn't have to go to a four-year community college then go to a university. I skipped community college and I've never went to community college but I got accepted into a university. The Phoenix the uni uh, what is it? The University of Phoenix in Houston, Texas. So that makes me smart, intelligent, and I didn't even have to study. I didn't even study. It's a pop quiz. I took my boot test and pass with flying colors. I know nothing about the quiz or the test. I just took it. I take the test. And I don't have to learn how to crawl before I learn how to walk. But I skip and hop and get up and run. <laughs> you have to run, run, run. So your teacher taught you stupid and ignorancy and craziness. But won't teach me stupid, ignorant, and craziness. Your teacher taught you ugliness, but won't teach me ugliness. You're hogging all the stupidity and ignorancy all to yourself, but won't let me be stupid and ignorant with you, as you, for you, along with you, and like you. It's okay. As if and whatever. I do not want to be stupid with you. As you, like you, for you, and along with you. I do, wanna, I do not want to be ugly, pesty, nasty, gross, disgusting, hoarding, trashy, unsanitary, gross, living in roach motels, hoarder house, halfway house, jail, prison, crack house with you, for you, like you, along with you, as you. And I do not want to live poor, broke, homeless, nasty, hoarding, struggling, poor poverty, ghetto, in a nut house like all of y'all. So I live and sleep like a princess. I eat and sleep privately by myself. No, me, I, you, we, he, she, they, them, it, and us. 
because y'all are so nasty. Y'all are so gross. Y'all disgust me. All of your negativity. I'm not jealous of you. You're jealous of me. Nobody ever taught me how to live life. But I teach myself. I teach myself street smarts. I learn a lot from the Cheap State channel. <laughs> yes. I was like, oh, cheapskate. Ugh, I don't want to be around cheapskate. But you know what? I've learned how to conserve like a cheapskate. Why have to pay money or pay bills and, you know, or buy everything expensive when you can save all that money for a rainy day? You save a dollar. You see, if you earn a dollar, save that dollar, but don't spend all your dollar. So, I get up, I earn it. I'm not lazy. And I'm not stupid, I'm not crazy, and I'm not retarded or mentally ill. And I'm not ugly like lots of people. Their ugliness comes from here. This is so ugly f coming from there. Even though you might have a pretty face, but your heart is not pretty, it makes you ugly. It shows your ugliness and stupidity and ignorancy because you're prejudiced, but you ain't all that. 